Stanley Stan Fisher is an economist and the vice chair of the U.S. Federal Reserve System. Born in northern Rhodesia, he holds dual citizenship in Israel and the United States. He served as governor of the Bank of Israel from 2005 to 2013. He previously served as chief economist at the World Bank. On January 10, 2014, United States President Barack Obama nominated Fisher to be vice chairman of the U.S. Federal Reserve Board of Governors. Early life and education, Fisher was born into a Jewish family in Mazabuka, northern Rhodesia. When he was 13, his family moved to southern Rhodesia, where he became active in the Habanum Zionist youth movement. In 1960, he visited Israel as part of a winter program for youth leaders, and studied Hebrew at Kibbutz Meir and Michael. He had originally planned to study at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, but went to the United Kingdom to study after receiving a scholarship from the London School of Economics, and obtained his BSc and MSc. In economics from 1962 a year 1966. Fisher then moved to the United States to study at MIT, and earned a PhD. In economics in 1969 with a thesis titled Essays on Assets and Contingent Commodities written under the supervision of Franklin M. Fisher. He became an American citizen in 1976. Academic career, in the early 1970s, Fisher worked as an associate professor at the University of Chicago. He served as a professor at the MIT Department of Economics from 1977 to 1988. In 1977, Fisher wrote the paper Long-Term Contracts, Rational Expectations, and the Optimal Money Supply Rule, where he combined the idea of rational expectations argued by new classical economists like Robert Lucas with the idea that price stickiness still led to some degree of market shortcomings that an active monetary policy could help mitigate in times of economic downturns. The paper made Fisher a central figure in New Keynesian economics. He authored three popular economics textbooks, Macroeconomics, Lectures on Macroeconomics, and The Introductory Economics, with David Big and Ra One Quarter Digger Dornbush. He was also Ben Bernanke's, Mario Draghi's and Greg Mankey's PhD. Thesis Advisor In 2012, Fisher served as Humanities Visiting Professor in Economic Thought at the University of Oxford. Banking Career from January 1988 to August 1990 he was Vice President, Development Economics and Chief Economist at the World Bank. He then became the first Deputy Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, from September 1994 until the end of August 2001. By the end of 2001, Fisher had joined the influential Washington-based financial advisory body, the Group of 30. After leaving the IMF, he served as vice chairman of Citigroup, president of Citigroup International, and head of the public sector client group. Fisher was an executive at Citigroup from February 2002 to April 2005, earning millions of dollars in salary and stock. Central banks. Equals Bank of Israel equals. Fisher was appointed governor of the Bank of Israel in January 2005 by the Israeli cabinet after being recommended by Prime Minister Ariel Sharon and Finance Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He took the position on May 1, 2005, replacing David Klein, who ended his term on January 16, 2005. Fisher became an Israeli citizen but did not renounce his American citizenship. He had been involved in the past with the Bank of Israel, having served as an American government advisor to Israel's economic stabilization program in 1985. On May 2, 2010, Fisher was sworn in for a second term. Under his management, in 2010, the Bank of Israel was ranked first among central banks for its efficient functioning, according to IMD's World Competitiveness Yearbook. Fisher has earned plaudits across the board for his handling of the Israeli economy in the aftermath of the global financial crisis. In September 2009, the Bank of Israel was the first bank in the developed world to raise its interest rates. In 2009, 2010, 2011 and 2012 Fisher received an A rating on the Central Banker Report Card published by Global Finance magazine. In June 2011, Fisher applied for the post of IMF Managing Director to replace Dominique Strauss-Kahn, 
but was barred as the IMF stipulates that a new managing director must be no older than 65, and he was 67 at the time. On June 30, 2013, Fisher stepped down as governor of the Bank of Israel midway through his second term, despite high popularity. Equals U.S. Federal Reserve equals, American President Barack Obama nominated Fisher as vice chair of the Federal Reserve System, the United States Central Bank, in January 2014. In nominating Fisher for the position, Obama stated he brought decades of leadership and expertise from various roles, including serving at the International Monetary Fund and the Bank of Israel. On May 21, 2014, the Senate confirmed Fisher's appointment to the Federal Reserve Board of Governors. In a separate vote on June 12, he was confirmed as the vice chair. Fisher succeeded Janet Yellen as vice chair. Yellen became chair of the Federal Reserve earlier in 2014. Recognition Fisher received an honorary doctorate from Hebrew University in 2006. In October 2010, Fisher was declared Central Bank Governor of the Year by Euromoney magazine. He is a member of the Bilderberg Group and attended the Swiss 2011 Bilderberg Conference in St. Moritz, Switzerland. He is also a Distinguished Fellow in the Council on Foreign Relations. Fisher was named a Distinguished Fellow of the American Economic Association in 2013. Personal Life Fisher is married to Rhoda Fisher, whom he met during his days in Habanim. The couple has three children. When they moved to Israel, Rhoda became honorary president of Ali Negev, a rehabilitation village for the disabled. References External links Profile at the Bank of Israel, Profile at the International Monetary Fund, Profile at Bloomberg Business Week, Profile at the Council on Foreign Relations, Profile at the Peterson Institute for International Economics, List of Publications, 1994 a Euro Present. Publications at the National Bureau of Economic Research, Statements and Speeches of Stanley Fisher, Column Archive at Project Syndicate, Appearances on C-SPAN. Stanley Fisher at the Internet Movie Database, Works by or about Stanley Fisher in Libraries, Stanley Fisher Collected News and Commentary at Haaretz, Stanley Fisher Collected News and Commentary at the Jerusalem Post, Stanley Fisher Collected News and Commentary at the New York Times, Stanley Fisher Collected News and Commentary at the Wall Street Journal and Market Watch, Interview, Stanley Fisher, Commanding Heights, PBS, May 9, 2001, Articles, Exchange Rate Regimes, Is the Bipolar View Correct? International Monetary Fund, Distinguished Lecture on Economics in Government, American Economic Association and the Society of Government Economists. Delivered at the meetings of the American Economic Association, New Orleans, January 6, 2001, Stanley Fisher, The Life of an Internationally Renowned Economist, Citigroup, August 13, 2004, Why So Gloomy on the Global Economy? The Banker, October 4, 2004, Citigroup's Fisher to Head Israel Central Bank, Bloomberg, January 9, 2005, Israel Looks to U.S. for Bank Chief, BBC News, January 10, 2005, See Peter McAuliffe series on international economics, the Israeli economy, thriving in a complicated environment, Council on Foreign Relations, October 18, 2007.